Ever wondered how to integrate AI into your Drupal website? Welcome to the fascinating world of artificial intelligence, where we harness the power of machines to enhance web experiences. We're focusing on Drupal, a robust content management system known for its flexibility and scalability. Imagine combining Drupal's dynamic capabilities with the intelligence of AI. We're talking about personalization on steroids, highly accurate content recommendations, and even sentiment analysis of user-generated content. What if your website could understand your users' feelings? It's all possible, thanks to the power of AI. It's not just about making your website smarter. It's about creating a more engaging and personalized experience for your users. And the best part? You don't have to be an AI expert to do it. Ready to unlock the power of AI in your Drupal site? Let's dive in. To kick things off, you'll need to set up your Google Cloud account. Start by heading over to the Google Cloud website and sign up. If you're new to Google Cloud, don't worry, the sign-up process is straightforward and user-friendly. Once you're signed up, you'll need to create a new project in the Google Cloud console. This is your workspace where you'll manage all the resources for your sentiment analysis project. Once you have your Google Cloud account set up, you're ready to enable the Natural Language API. Next, you'll need to enable the Natural Language API for your project. This powerful tool can be found in the Google Cloud Console. Once you're there, navigate to the APIs and Services, then Library section. Now it's time to start searching. Type in Cloud Natural Language API in the search bar and voila, you're almost there. The next step is to enable this API for your specific project. Click on the Enable button and you're one step closer to integrating machine learning into your Drupal site. But wait, we're not quite done here yet. You need to create credentials to authenticate your Drupal site with the Natural Language API. This could be an API key or a service account, whichever suits your needs best. And there you have it. You've successfully enabled the Natural Language API and created the necessary credentials. With the Natural Language API enabled, it's time to move to your Drupal site. Now, let's install the necessary modules in Drupal. First on the list is the RESTful Web Services module. This module is crucial as it allows Drupal to communicate with external APIs, such as the Google Cloud Natural Language API we're using. Once you find it in the module directory, install and enable it. But we're not done yet, there are a few more modules to install. These include the HTTP client and serialization modules. The HTTP client module facilitates HTTP requests, allowing Drupal to send and receive data from the Google Cloud Natural Language API. On the other hand, the serialization module helps with JSON processing, converting data from the API into a format that Drupal can understand and use. Remember, the order of installation doesn't matter, but each of these modules play a key role in our sentiment analysis project. Once you have the necessary modules installed, you're ready to configure the API integration. Next, let's configure the API integration in Drupal. We'll start by setting up the RESTful Web Services module. This module is responsible for allowing outgoing requests to the Google Cloud Natural Language API. To do this, navigate to the module's settings page, where you'll find options to set up the API endpoints and configure the request parameters. Now, it's time to authenticate your Drupal site with the Natural Language API. This is where the credentials you created earlier come into play. In the settings of the RESTful Web Services module, input the API key or service account details that were generated when you enabled the Natural Language API on Google Cloud. Remember, these credentials are crucial, as they allow your Drupal site to communicate with the Natural Language API, enabling the sentiment analysis functionality we're aiming for. With the API integration configured, you're ready to implement the sentiment analysis logic. Now, let's get down to the nitty-gritty, implementing the sentiment analysis logic. You can achieve this in Drupal by writing custom code or utilizing Drupal's hook system. Let's say you decide to create a custom module. This module would hook into Drupal's content submission or editing process. Within this module, the content submitted by the user is retrieved, and an HTTP request is made to the Google Cloud Natural Language API. This content is then passed along for sentiment analysis. The API response is parsed to extract the sentiment score, which could be positive, negative, or neutral, along with any additional metadata. These results can then be stored in Drupal's database or associated with the corresponding user-generated content. With the sentiment analysis logic implemented, you're ready to display the results. And voila! You've now integrated sentiment analysis into your Drupal site. 
Finally, let's display the sentiment analysis results to users. This is where the magic happens. You'll want to tweak your Drupal theme or template files to make the sentiment analysis results visible. It's like putting a mirror in front of your user's emotions. Maybe you'll add a sentiment score indicator, a visual cue to reflect the sentiment behind their content, a smiley face for positive sentiment, a frowning face for negative. Why not provide additional feedback based on these results? Suggestions to improve their content or prompts for further engagement could be a game changer. This is your chance to make your users feel understood to create a more interactive and engaging experience and that's it, you've successfully integrated AI into your Drupal website. But wait, we're not done yet. Testing and iteration are key to a successful implementation. After setting up your sentiment analysis integration, it's time to put it to the test. Start by testing it thoroughly to ensure everything works as expected and provides accurate results. You could use a variety of user-generated content to see how well the sentiment analysis performs. Then, gather feedback. This could be from users, stakeholders, or even from the sentiment analysis results themselves. This feedback will help you identify any issues or areas for improvement. Now, iterate on your implementation. Make adjustments based on the testing results and feedback to improve accuracy, performance, and usability. Remember, the power of AI lies in its ability to learn and improve over time. So keep testing, iterating, and unlocking the full potential of your Drupal website.